Well, well, well. I had a feeling he was going to retire sooner or later or step down. Lots of mounting chaos resulting or revolving around everything that was happening and all that. Yeah, it sucks, but it had to happen sooner or later, didn't it? Yeah, fluid spill, RT derailment due to bad track conditions, amongst other things. Huge amounts of insecurity incidents. Yes, weapons calls included. Assaults, sexual assaults, harassment, death threats and all that. Yeah. Well, what can you do? There's not too much security to, around the TTC. And they don't uh, have metal detectors and all that, which would create huge lineups and all that. Now, if we had far more special constables and yes fair enforcement too because there's a lot of fair evasion this would be a thing of the past but you know nothing is perfect i mean it nothing is perfect things happen so what can we do hopefully a new ceo has better plans maybe negotiates better funding agreements this trend should not be left to fend for itself other other transit systems are literally sub heavily subsidized and the TTC is no different. It should actually be subsidized too, but then again, I read a lot about it, about all this, if all the multiple shits happening throughout TTC. What can you do, right? Nothing. Nothing. Anyways, these are my thoughts. He's stepping down on his own terms. So, yeah. All I can do is wish him the best of luck on his uh, new endeavors. I'm not going to say anything negative because that's just not proper or not right. Because, you know, people do come and go through companies. They find different jobs. Some love it. Some don't find it the best. And... When they decide to step down, hey, that's on their own terms. It wasn't uh, they were literally being ousted by a board vote or anything. So, yeah. So, maybe a new year will change things. Let's hope so. Anyways, that's about all. Thank you for watching.